let's make a simple, interactive PowerPoint quiz template. With all the animations and transitions, PowerPoints can look pretty dynamic, but they're usually pretty static when it comes to audience interaction. But today, that changes. I'm going to share how to turn your PowerPoint into a fully interactive quiz where students can engage with your slides in real time. Whether it's a quick question during a lesson or a full-on interactive review session, this template will ensure 100% student participation and make your lesson stand out. First step, add your question onto the slide. I'm going to put a placeholder in here for this template, but you guys are free to add in your own question or follow along with the template. So you can move your question to the correct location on your slide and then feel free to further format with different font types, your font size, and a different font color as well. Next, we're gonna to need to add shapes for our answer choices. So we're gonna go into the insert tab. Shapes, I'm gonna do some rounded rectangles here and I'm gonna put on one and we'll duplicate it three times. The most common is four answer choices, but feel free to do what suits you all. Then we can go ahead and format these questions as well. So move them to the correct location on your slide. In our shape format, we can also adjust our shape fill and our shape outline. Then you can add your placeholder text for your A, B, C, D as well. Next, to make interactive, we're first going to add a button onto our slide so that way we can get that true 100% student participation during our lessons, like this. So to add that magic to our PowerPoints, we're gonna be going into the class point tab of our PowerPoint ribbon. Oh, you guys don't have this? Class point is an interactive PowerPoint add-in perfect for all presenters that are looking for more engagement and interactivity in their lessons. You can sign up, download, and install for free at classpoint.io. Once that's done, you'll be right with me. To continue on, we are just gonna go back again into that class point tab, click on the multiple choice icon to add that interactive button onto our slide. Feel free to move this around and adjust as needed. Then we're gonna go over to the side panel to customize our options. So again, we already have our four answer choices selected, but if you have a number, a different number, you can change that. And then if you've already typed out your question, you can add any correct answers here. There, and now you have an interactive slide for your presentation. Before I show you an example of running this in class to get those audience responses, let's first quickly save this template. To save, we're gonna go to File, then Save As, and you can browse for a location. Once that's picked out, feel free to give it a name. I'll just do a quiz template here. Then, of course, you can save it as a PowerPoint file so that you can refer back to it or save it as a PowerPoint template. That way you can come back to this again and again. So we'll save that. And now let's try out using this PowerPoint template with a real life example. So we're gonna go to a file and new. And here where now we have a PowerPoint template saved, we see personal. So we can open up this quiz template and we'll create a new PowerPoint file based on this template. Once that's opened up, we can now type in our question and our answer choices. Once that's all added onto our slide, we can then select our class point button to set our correct answer. So here we have our correct answer as C. And once you set that correct answer, you're running this question in your PowerPoint presentation and the question is closed, you've received all those student responses, class point will reveal the correct answer to your audience. However, if you wanna take it one extra step and make it a little bit more visual to highlight that correct answer, follow these steps. We're first gonna select all of our wrong answers. So hold down the shift key, select those wrong answers. Then we're gonna go into animations and in our exit animations, we're just click on fade. You'll see that quick preview, it's a little quick. So let's change our duration to two here. And then we can give it another preview to see that all of those wrong answers fade away into the background. Or you can also give it a quick preview. Let's click on the animation pane. And instead of having them all disappear at once, we can instead change it to start after previous for our other examples. So that way, when you give it a quick preview, it's a little bit more suspenseful. One is being removed at a time. So now we have a fully completed setup with a real life example. 
Next, as promised, let's see this interactive question in action. We'll enter our PowerPoint presentation mode, then the next step is to invite your students to join your class. To do this, you can click on the class code to show them a QR code that they can use to scan. They can use any device on any browser, or they can just go to the website classpoint.app, type in this class code, then their name, and you're ready to go. Once all of your students are joined in, you can click on the multiple choice button to start receiving their responses. Once all of the responses are in, you can close the question and review as a class. Of course, you can show that correct answer, award stars to everybody who got it correct. Yes, gamification and even a leaderboard, class point can do that. Then, of course, you can also show your visual highlighting of all of the wrong answers disappearing on your screen. To review after class, all of your responses are saved automatically. You can also review them through this reports tab on the class point ribbon, which will take you to a website so that you can dive deeper into each one of your class sessions. So in this reports tab here, you'll see that we have that ongoing class. You can end that to review, click into the class to dive a little bit deeper and learn more about how your students are doing in class. To take it another step further and instead maybe you want an Excel report of your students' data, like this one, take a look at the class point quiz mode with the video linked up above. And lastly, before you go, here are two quick tips to use these quiz templates with any PowerPoint presentation. So our first one is maybe you already have an existing PowerPoint presentation that you want to insert that quiz template into. So for example, we can go to our new slide here, go to reuse slides, you can browse for your quiz template example, open it up and they'll give you a quick preview of that slide and you can insert it into your presentation with all that formatting you already had. This is a great way to use a template without having to start from scratch. And our second tip is to access an easy template even quicker with ClassPoint's quiz ideas. In the ClassPoint tab, you'll see this quiz ideas icon Click on it and you'll see a whole bunch of templates for class points, different question types. We do have eight different quiz question types, so feel free to explore, but take a look. And if any of the designs are catching your eye, you can insert it directly as a file or as a slide into your PowerPoint file. So you can take a look, then just update the text and images to your own question and your own answer choices. And there you have it, a fully interactive quiz template for your PowerPoint presentations that's ready to use in any of your future lessons. With ClassPoint, turning your ordinary slides into engaging learning experience is quick and easy. Learn more about ClassPoint's other quiz question types and features here. And subscribe to the ClassPoint channel for more PowerPoint and EdTech tips and tricks for teachers just like you.